Today, I'm joined by marketing genius, Josh Latimer. Josh started his cleaning business in a trailer park and desperately wanted to make $500 a week. Fast forward to the day he sold his company and he was still servicing the same small town, but making $150,000 per month. Since selling his business three years ago, Josh now has dedicated his life to helping business owners like you reach their full potential. How? Josh has an amazing podcast called the Quick Talk Podcast. This is value-packed, telling you how to grow a service business. It's a great listen, stick it on whilst you're in the van. Josh has also founded sendgym.com a business that sends ultra-personalized mail to your dream customers, getting them to pay attention to you and chuck your competitors' generic flyers in with the recycling. Josh has also developed the Ultimate Marketing Super Course that has guest speakers that have all grown small businesses like you, ready to teach you how to grow your business to the heights that you've dreamed of. Today, we're joined by Josh, who's going to give you the three tips you need to know before starting any marketing campaign, whether that's Google ads, a Facebook ad, leaflets, putting a magazine ad together, whatever it is, these are the three tips you need to know. Over to you, Josh. Hey, Daisy. Thank you so much. Uh, My name is Josh, as Daisy said, and I ran a home service company for 10 years, and I want to talk to you about direct marketing, direct mail, and kind of just marketing in general. Now, for me, for the first two and a half years I had my company, it was really, really difficult. I struggled tremendously. A lot of it was psychological. I didn't understand how much opportunity there was. I didn't understand that the market that I was serving, like the the area, the local area that I was doing, offering my services in, I didn't realize how big the opportunity was, that we could do hundreds of thousands of dollars per month cleaning things. I had no idea. In fact, my original goal when I started my company was to make $500 a week, which would have been a huge thing. And I would get all stressed out thinking, how do I get four customers to pay me $125, right? And that same business in that small town ended up doing over $150,000 a month. And the reason we had success was twofold. Number one, it was systems. It was creating a lever, a system, a repeatable, duplicatable, trainable way for us to to find new customers on demand. That was number one. And number two, it was leveling up my own belief of what the opportunity was, right? So when it comes to marketing, you want to get new customers, but you got to remember that not all customers are created equal. You don't want any customer. You want the right types of customers. And Early on in my business, I would attract the completely wrong types of customers, people that were bottom feeders, people that would try to beat me up on the price all the time. And I couldn't figure out why I was attracting these types of people. Let me give you a scenario here. When my company was larger and automated and we had everything systemized and we had a very luxurious, high-priced premium service that we offered, we would go do an estimate for someone in our local market. And let's say that that estimate was $600 worth to clean some things for them. And then what would happen is that homeowner would get other estimates. And some of these small owner-operator companies would would roll up and write their estimate on the back of a business card or something, and they would be $250, we would be $600. But we would still get the job almost every single time. And the smaller companies in our area hated our guts. They hated us. And we're nice people, but we were getting way higher prices, and they didn't understand why they were losing these jobs because they didn't understand perceived value. They didn't understand how to target and attract the right types of customers. And what would happen is we would get this job, right? And so Bob, this other guy who would lose the job, would get scared and go into panic mode. And guess what Bob would do? is he would lower his price even more for the next quote that he would do, which is the opposite of what needs to happen. What you got to do is you have to attract, and I'm going to tell you how to do that here. I'll give you three simple, practical filters that you need to use with all of your marketing. You need to attract the right customers, and then you need to wrap your service uh, in this package of massive perceived value. And I'll explain what that is in a second. Now, the three filters are very simple. The first thing is is hyper-targeting. 
You do not want to market, advertise, or offer your services to everybody. You need to get really specific on who your best customers are and where they live, where are they at, where are they congregating, what lakes do they live on, what golf course communities do they live in, what gated neighborhoods are they in, right? You need to list that out and get really hyper-focused and hyper-target the right types of customers. No exceptions, no excuses. Not all customers are created equal. You want the ones that have the money, that, that care about luxurious, premium high quality service. They care about integrity and trust and the way that you operate as a business, not just the price. The price should be like fourth or fifth of importance on this type of customer's list. If you want to get high prices, if you want to have a really profitable company, this is how you do it. Hyper-target the right people. Hyper-targeting can be on neighborhood, it can be on income, it can be on uh, families with kids, it can be on lots of different things depending on what kind of service you offer, but hyper-targeting is the first key. The second thing you want to do when you market to people, whether it's using direct mail or Facebook ads or anything, is you want to personalize, <laughs> personalize your message. Personalization is huge, right? So you don't just make a blanket statement like carpet cleaning, $99 a room. That's what everybody else does. Instead, you hyper-target a certain neighborhood. And then the direct mail or the Facebook ad that you're serving to that area will say, Dear Lake Travis residents, right? Dear Lake Ontario residents, whatever, like some way to personalize it. Another way that we did this was we would send postcards in the mail and there would be a picture on the postcard of everybody's individual house on the postcard. It can be trickier to do that. That's actually what my software Send Jim does, uh, but you can also do it manually and it would hyper personalize these uh, direct messages. So our response rates would go through the roof. People are getting their mail. They see a picture of their own house on the card. Another way you can do it is you can send them a letter or a, another type of postcard that has a picture of the street sign or the neighborhood entryway to their neighborhood. You take a picture of that, you send it to everybody in the neighborhood, and you make an offer for that neighborhood specifically, naming it by name. It takes a little bit extra effort to put together something like this, but it makes you become a nightmare to compete with because nobody in your market, I promise you, almost nobody is doing this type of stuff. So you're hyper targeting the right area, you're personalizing the, the, the message on your postcard, your door hanger, your flyer, your Facebook ad, whatever, you're personalizing it to those people specifically. And then the third step is multi-touch. You cannot just throw your message out there once and hope for the best, although that's what 95% of people do. They get a little bit of money. They're terrified to spend money on scaling their business, on marketing. They're terrified because they don't know what they're doing and they haven't done it before and they don't have a master plan. They don't understand their numbers and that's a topic for a different video. Uh, but you have to do this over and over and over and over during the right times of year. So if you look at your whole 12 months of your, your revenue for your company, right? You may, might make a whole bunch of money here and here and here, then it dips down, then it goes back up, then it goes way down, and then it starts over. I call that a revenue curve. You've got to make sure that you're hyper-targeting a personalized message and hitting people multiple times just as you're about to enter the peak of your revenue curve. That's when people want to spend money on the stuff that you do. That's when they're ready to get out the checkbook and pay for the home service that you offer. Don't spend all your money when no one's buying. Spend your money right before everyone's buying. Charge very high prices. And then last but not least, I, I said, said I'd mention this. Let's talk about perceived value. The way you answer the phone, the way that your uniform looks, the way that your literature looks when you give pricing and estimates, the way that your email signature looks when you follow up with a client, the way that you do the service, the way that you ask for referrals, the way you do a walk around after the job, all of these little things, the voice inflection you have on the phone, all of it, adds to what is called perceived value. And if you want to get super high prices, you can't just focus on doing a good job mowing the lawn or cleaning the carpet. Everybody does that. You have to focus on what it feels like to do business with your company in the first place. How many rings did it take for you to answer your phone? When you can figure this out, these little touch points, these little perceived value opportunities, when you can figure out how to exceed the customer's expectation at every turn, you can charge way higher prices than your competition. And when you figure out how to hyper-target a personalized message and hit the right people multiple times, the right time of year, when you figure that out, you can build your business to be as big as you want it to be. Back to you, Daisy. Josh, thank you so much. It's an honor to have you on The Digital Show. I know that your tips come straight from the heart. You have been in the same position as so many of us, growing a business and going through the highs and the lows of getting it off the ground. Guys, please, please implement the steps that 
Josh has given you. He has given you tips that he has learned the hard way and has used to implement an amazing, very profitable business. Now, Josh, is there anywhere that all of our audience can go to find out more about you and the amazing products that you offer? Absolutely. If anybody wants to find out about my company, you can just go to sendgym.com. Now, we are a software company based in the United States. Our software only works for small service companies that are in the United States as of right now. Uh, but we also have some other resources and educational stuff on Facebook. If you just look me up on Facebook, you can watch some of my videos and free teachings. And thank you for having me on. I, it was a pleasure, Daisy. Thank you. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to hit subscribe and you will be the first person to be notified when a new video is released. But if you can't wait till the next video, then join our Facebook group. There's over a thousand smart business owners all sharing advice on how to market your business better. There's new conversations every single day and I'm sure you'll get some great light bulb moments. The link to join that Facebook group is in the description below this video. I'll see you over there.